Super Nanny arrives the next morning to kickstart the teaching. First up, she outlines her plans for something Darren and Trisha have been incapable of doing. Discipline. I have a bench. Yeah. That bench Sorry. is called the naughty bench. Now, what's going to happen is, if you misbehave... Yeah. ..and Mummy and Daddy want you to stop that behaviour, or you start to hit one another and hurt one another, you're going to have a warning from Mummy and Daddy. Yeah. So, James, any nonsense, if you don't listen to your warning, then you will be on that bench. With the new discipline rules explained to the youngest boys, Super Nanny wants to encourage them to play together. James and Matthew are going to put their cars on this table. Put them on the table, then, and you choose one each. Matthew makes his disapproval perfectly clear. I'd like you now to go over to Matthew and he can have a warning, OK, with his behaviour right now. All right? Matthew, please come to Mummy. It's not a gap, I'm talking to you. Matthew, look at Mummy. Look at Mummy. I want you to behave. He's here. He's here. OK, you've got him here. Up. Matthew, stop that behaviour right now, please. Any more nonsense and you'll be on the naughty bench. OK, leave him. Let's walk away. Walk away, OK? Carry on with dinner. And if you see any more behaviour from Matthew, then he's to go straight onto the naughty bench, OK? Right. Matthew, would you want to go sit down for something to eat? <laughs> sit there. Right. What's that behaviour? What's that behaviour? No! That was naughty <laughs> behaviour. Behavior? Don't kick the table. <laughs> straight to the naughty bench. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Take him straight to the naughty bench and explain why you put him on it. Pick him up, you're stronger than him. You're stronger than him, pick him up. <laughs> now, you sit down there. Sitting down first, calm down. I want me. And explain why you put him sit, on there. Sit there, Matthew. Don't shout. It's all right, if he's there, he's there. Explain why you brought him here. Matthew, I brought you here because you're naughty and you're kicking the table. Listen, don't shout. Don't shout. He wants his dinner, we know. But he's just behaved after being given a warning. OK, up from you. No, there's no cuddles. You've been put on this naughty bench because you did not listen to Mummy. OK, that's what I want you to repeat. Right, you've been, away. You've been put on this naughty bench because you did not listen to Mummy. Don't shout, don't shout. Just talk to him with a very firm voice. You hear what I'm doing now? I'm talking like this. You're projecting your voice. Come here, Matthew, please. Bring him over. You're stronger than him. Go and pick him up. You're stronger than him. Go and don't run away, Matthew. Up. Don't scream or show loss of control. Just go and get him. The new rules will take some getting used to. And not just for Matthew. Yeah. Pick him up. He's your son. Oh, Bring him down. The three minutes will only begin when Matthew's on or near to the naughty bench. <laughs> OK, very low tone voice. Oh, Mummy brought you to the naughty bench because you did not listen. No pacifying. Matthew. <laughs> Mummy brought you to the naughty bench because you didn't listen to me. Put him onto the bench and then walk away. I'm wearing... After years of unfulfilled threats from Trisha, Matthew's clearly hoping he can avoid the bench altogether. Oh, he's got off it, so you're going to place him back into the area. You've got to seem like you're authority and in control. Ten minutes since he was brought inside and Matthew's still resisting. Go and get him. OK? He's not going to bite you. He may not bite, but Matthew can most certainly bark. <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> Mum is being consistent and following through, which is going to get her the end results and allow Matthew to recognise there's been a shift in power and now Mum has the authority and not Matthew. <laughs> After half an hour of resistance, Matthew's protest begins to fizzle out. You've got to keep looking at him. Just do the washing up, keep yourself busy here, OK? And three minutes starts from now. <laughs> Once the three minutes are up, Trisha must complete the final stage of the technique. 
So what you're going to do now is you're going to go back over to the area and still with your low toned voice, mummy put you here on the naughty bench because you did not listen to me. You were misbehaving. And you say you're sorry to mummy, mm -hmm. okay? But what's important is that while you are talking to him, if he tries to cuddle you whilst you're talking, you keep him at arm's length. Listen, listen to mummy. Mummy put you on the naughty bench because you were naughty, okay? You did not listen to mummy. You did not listen to what mummy had to say and you were naughty. Now I want you to say sorry to mummy for not listening. Now I want you to say sorry to mummy for not listening to me. Pardon? Hang on one sec. I want you to say sorry. Good boy. Well done. Okay.